This improv story is based on the idea a man buys hair transplant, let the story commence. Craig was starting to lose his hair. He was starting to get a receding hairline that was going a bit bald at the back as well. And he, some people said to him, he was a streamer, and some people said to him, why don't you go to Turkey? And he went like, shut up. He didn't even know what they meant. And he looked it up, hair, bald, Turkey. Turns it Turkey is quite a popular destination for getting hair transplants and things like that. Um, so he looked it up and it was quite reasonable. So he went there and on the flight there was some drunk people and a fight happened and somebody managed to take control of the, um, the plane and it crashed into the ocean the no no the ocean um what you call it the what would that be red sea red sea dead sea i see i don't uh or maybe it's a uh, mediterranean actually is it let's have a look um map of the in fact here we go, just go to google maps i'll show you exactly where it crashed Type the word map. So in case you're wondering, what, what about the hair transplant? Uh, just excuse me a second. Oh. Um, aye, right there. Right, right that. Right in, right there. Right here on the Black Sea. No, no, no. Wait, no, wait. No, that. I always remember it looks, it looks a bit like um, Australia. Isn't it? Look. Look at the shape. It's been cut out of there, isn't it? It's been cut out. It's been cut out of there. Isn't it? Somebody's went and cut it out. Fuck all resemblance. Right, so... F fuck all resemblance. So this kind of rectangular sort of shape, wider than it is tall, with a bit that comes down at the bottom, a bit that comes down at the bottom here, and a bit that sticks up there, has no re has no resemblance at all to this wider than it is tall. Bit comes down there, bit comes down there, sticky up a bit there and a bit there. No resemblance at all. I mean, look at it. Look, it's even got this. Look at it. Look. Look. Look! Look! Exact same! So something has happened. So it's as if this has been cut out, Australia's been cut out of this, and the reason why it's bigger is because it's closer to the camera. So this is actually floating. So it was cut out there, and it's actually, it's, it's, it's above the ground there. It's, it's closer to us. So in fact, what happened was they didn't crash into that. We have now determined that actually, due to the, the difference in shape, uh, the similarity uh, in shape, the flight went the wrong way and actually went towards, thinking this was towards Turkey. And actually, because the plane's up in the sky and Australia's up in the sky, as we can see, because it's, it's cut out, it's close to the camera, Crashed into Australia in the sky. Because Australia's floating. And here's the funny thing. Because it crashed into the bottom of floating Australia, the top of the plane came right off. Scraped along it like imagine a lorry going in, you know, under, a, under a, a bridge. I know this sort of story's happened before, but this actually is true took off the top of it and took off the top of Craig's head and here's the funny thing he no longer had to worry about losing his hair because he'd lost his fucking head lost the top of his head and so people were more concerned and remarked more on the fact that he didn't have a fucking cranium 
than didn't have any hair on the cranium. It's a bit like if somebody's rotting away in a grave. You don't go like that, ha ha, they're bald. They're dead. The main thing is they're fucking dead. But here's the thing. Craig was alive. They kept him alive. They tried to attach a skull on the top. Like a new skull on the top because it's completely removed. But he was still alive. The brain wasn't touched. Somehow it managed to take it off without touching the brain. They put air at Any time they tried to put a new skull at the top, the brain couldn't breathe. See, once the brain's been exposed, it then switches for getting its oxygen for the lungs to actually breathe in. It's a, it's a biological term. It's ab absorption. Absorption. The doc, it gets, it, it does the <gasps> breathe like that. It just sort of brings it in. It's, it ha see, see frogs. Frogs can get their oxygen. That's why they're called amphibious. They can get some of their oxygen for actually their skin. Like breathe. It just it's it just sort of sinks in. Osmosis. Um osmosis, I osmosis. Anytime they try to put a thing on top of your seat and another a new a new skull for a donor for somebody else that got their head taken off, but they didn't they didn't make it. It would suffocate his brain, so they had to create basically something that was safe. Uh but it let his brain breathe. And so they created a kind of um, caramel lattice, whatever you call it. You know when you know when they go like that with molten sugar, kind of caramel, air, a cold ladle, like that? It's a lattice, is that what you call it? It's a lattice, I can't remember what you call it. But, you know, they create a kind of... Is that a lattice? Am I, am I talking shit if I made that word up? Caramel lat lattice? Next to so a lattice pattern. There you go. Aye, that. That right there. That's it. Had to create that. To put in his, his skull, uh, his brain. I, it allows, so it allows 21% oxygen. Because that lets in, see, see the gaps? It had to account for 21% of the, the you know, the, the holes had to be 20%. It had to let through 21%. Exactly. Year. And I'll tell you this, in bulk, it's you need 21% oxygen to survive as I'm talking. Oxygen's coming in and out. A lot of these older people, they're putting these masks on. It's dampening the lungs, shattering their immune system and shattering the nervous system. Somebody came along and said, he needs to have a skull on. This isn't enough because we Wayne's are coming up and eating it, picking away at the sugar. And somebody came up and said, we need to put on a, a proper skull. They put on a proper skull. And do you know what it did? It no longer got 21% oxygen. It shattered his lungs. It, it dampened his lungs. It shattered his immune system and shattered his nervous system. And he died. But here's the funny thing. Because of Bill Gates' evil nanobot um, vaccine, the nanobots came alive and brought them back to life as an android. Like that. I... Uh, everyone should install Windows 11. Everything will still work.
properly? The end. Whole thing was Gates. The whole thing. Whole thing. That's a true story. But I can't go out there and say it's a true story because I'll get fucking, it'll be hell to pay. I get mass kicked. Everything is linked, that's right. It's all linked. 